Where's that letter? Oh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Yup. Mm -hmm. Holy call me son, miss my holy reiker rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Uh -huh. Oh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. That horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit? He was a fine animal. Loyal. Biscuit. Smart. Hey, brave. Didn't take no guff. Not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and it stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. Howdy, partner. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. Going out. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Mm -hmm. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him, bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. Entinen saluuna. Hmm. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Rikostutkija, mutta voinhan mä vilkaista. Okei, tossa on mennyt... Aika 
korkealla nuo luodit. Eli joku on voinut tuota ikkunalta päin ampua. Osunut tässä. Jo tuskin täältä on tullut tullut. Eli sisällä ampuja on ollut tässä. Ampunut ylöspäin. Nice talking with you, ma'am. Good luck to you. You too. All the best. Fishing feathers in your pillow. I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here. I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> you cool down then yet? I guess. I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. Huh. Where's that letter? You reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Yup. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray <laughs> yeah, to the Lord above that. that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> He ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? 
return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whatever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, ah, that looks give me that back. We got work to do. Roads. Roads in Gula. Tääkin on tämmönen boom taumi. Taun olevina. Ei voi se jää hytkimään hetkeksi aikaa. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you. No, are you insane? I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So, you head on in there, you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Want a paper? You'll like this one. Well, see you for the next one. I'm running out, Rhodes. Get him right here. Thank you, Naga Kome. What did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What's in the park? Look, it's some ointment, all right? For a private matter. Uh huh. I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. Right. Hey there. Hello, sirs. Oh, howdy. Morning, to you. Sir, good morning. Good morning to you. You know, it says a kirikos a kaunu. Tässä pelissä. Hey, mister. Hello. Bet he's gonna 
näihin edes sisään. Ei pääse. Selvä. Mitäs muuta täällä on? Yeah. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Yeah, so I don't even do it. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I share What's all the mean? work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. Yeah, so it be any more than in Sahelink. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ah. ever again. Mm-hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. No. They get a ruka. Haha, <laughs> No. Mitä tässä olisi pitänyt tehdä, jos jumittaa keskelle tietä? Mä en pystynyt niinku... Yksinkertaisesti tekemään mitään. Yritin nousta tosta vankkurista pois. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. You don't need to check if I'm doing it right. Yeah, you stand by, yeah. Hop on. I'll be right with you. I can do this, Arthur. You get on. Okay. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. 
I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go! 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 Ah! Ah! Ja taas luuttaaminen al alkakoa. Tämä oli melkoinen niin kuin, tota, väijytys tässä näin. Tieto on vaan sillain, että mm. itse asiassa orjushan taitaa olla tässä vaiheessa lakkautettu. Ja on vaan työläisiä, niin sillain ihan siirtisti, että ihan taas tässä reistetään. Muuten ikävä vamma tuolla kaverilla. Here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. We show those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hey, slow down. I think you're going the wrong way. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Hey, you want me to drive? So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. 
Kilpailevaa jengiä, varmaan se mikä häädettiin tästä. Niin nää joutuu heti taistelemaan tosta avoista toisen jengin kanssa, mikä on vähän ja niin on tää kirjoittaa tosiaan päiväkirjaa täältä. Joo, näin on ilmeisesti tapana se, että on niinku tämmönen suoja-alue, missä ei tehdä rikoksia, missä ollaan vaan chillisti, niin sinne ei tule niinku kukaan. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> We got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Okay, oikeasti tekee vähän töitä tää. You busy, Arthur? Next time we run an errand together, Remind me to peg more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> well, I guess. Arthur! How are you? Alive. And you? Fine. Let me ask you a question. If I was to kill Miss Grimshaw, would Dutch be mad? <laughs> I think, as a general rule, Dutch likes to avoid murder within the camp. I mean, it was that one time, but he was a traitor. <laughs> well, Dutch has a soft spot for her. I thought as much. Was she always like this? I ain't quite old enough to know. <laughs> no, of course. So as long as you've known her? She's always liked her swill of vinegar. I'd like to give her a swig of arsenic. We'll just do it discreetly. I will. You fancy a game of dominoes? Sure, why not? Don't we know I'm playing with you, she'll leave me alone. Can't believe the dominoes survived Blackwater, but my necklace didn't. Oh, yeah. Aha. No, I thought it was like that. It's just Blackwater. It's like that. It's like that. It's like that. I'll keep my eye out for you, too. Ai sen saa tolleenkin pystyttyä. Spinner taili. Well? Nothing here. Give me something. Nothing on this one. Hosea and Dutch have got that twinkle in their eyes again. That usually means trouble. Whatever you say. There 
you go, Domino. Yep, there. Ah, oh, sorry. Here. Okay, come pistettä. Pitää vaan omat omat saada tuhottua. Lainsuojaton pappi. On niitä kaikenlaisia kyllä tässä mukana. Melkoinen porukka kyllä. Siellä he kattelee järvelle. How you doing, old friend? Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I have a chance. Ah, so that's many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Sorry. I don't stop that. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be right. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. <laughs> we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Tähän tää aiko oikee. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long, old friend. Yeah. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting, you. Yep, come on, Jose. Let's go piss. Come on, then. Arthur, what are you doing? Hold on, hey, what's the nigga? Don't think you're getting out of this, Arthur. Yo, 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 to la to la. I'm coming through. Okay, go. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Tai suojattomat tulee kylä. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look 
Put the cat drug in. Tästä kukaan noista ei tiedä. Let's see if we can't sort this out. How are you boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. But I now, tell me, sir, what did the silly fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! <laughs> well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, <laughs> big guy. <laughs> I well, that's that's the lucky. Foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them. You hear me? Come on. Oh, easy there. All right. Come on. We're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping. They're the lowest of the low. Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on, Jeffy. Ah. Idiots. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Closer. Get us alongside it. Get alongside that flat carriage. Probably delete the auto and watch it. Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Watch out. He's throwing bombs at us. <sighs> Bastards! Uh, 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 Yes. Se on vähän vaikeeta nyt. Tietenkin on jos unohtanut mistä napista torjuttiin. I 
him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? Uita, uita puukolla. So. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load him uh -huh. onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Ennenkin kuuli jostain noin ruumiita, ei kun siis. Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, biggest state belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Uh -huh. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. Uh -huh. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as ah, I can remember. Ah, täällä on tämmöinen sukusota menossa. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Kaksi ranchia, jotka tappelee toisiaan vastaan. Roads. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Uh-huh. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a cell. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend, <laughs> yeah, well, here, fine, your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. No need, but the His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses uh. falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like 
We can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where do you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk uh -huh. of super agents or some such. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. Yeah. <laughs> There's still time. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. government is taking people from their homes, messing with their minds, and turning them on their own families. Uh -huh. Damn it all. Me. Yeah. Time to go, boy. Yeah. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. Yeah. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. I got you one to do it, Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. We wouldn't have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Oh, hey, Dutch, that. remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. Now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawney's. What a terrible thought. This is the spot, down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Ah, 
I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Yeah, oh, put a line of in here. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. Here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Got a nibble there, Arthur. Arthur, you have to catch one at least. You got something biting, Arthur. You hooked him. Rupe, rupe, tappele montas. Vapa pystyy, vapa pystyy. Onko täällä siihen ollut oikeasti 1200-luvulla? Saattanut ehkä olla jonkinlaisia tämmöisiä keloja jo. Se tekni teknisesti varmasti onnistuu, mutta kuinka yleisiä nämä on ollut? Something's nibbling. Shit, got away. I think that's a bite. Got him. Call out, I have passed you. Tästä tulee ihan hyvän kokonen. Joo, tuli ihan hyvän kokonen kala. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckon. Yo yo. I would like to see that. Hey Jose, you remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. I turned cocksetman, got to see that. The next week, Arthur and I are at the market. 
and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> so, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, grab someone, and buy some fish. You're getting the hang of this. Honoria saw catch and release it. I used to go fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, pieni. and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Fish on the line, Arthur. We call it a day, brother. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. <laughs> Thank you, boys. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. Row, row, row the boat. Ask that gal to give me something. Ask that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the tailors is done. I couldn't wait till the tailors was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us, three. Mariner. Ah, of course. Well, we three poor mariners who leak up from the sea. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Maybe there is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round. round. We for martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round. To them we dance this round and round and round. Let's just be careful that we don't get caught in the net. If we want to be safe, we need to be safe. The net is not always safe. It's just a little bit dangerous. Löytää, kun piti kävellä ympäriinsä. <laughs> Liikaa hauskuutta. Jos varastaa veneen, niin kannattaa toiselta puolta järveä mieluummin, että lähtee varastamaan. Ja niin, ja tässä on jonkinlainen laiturikin kaiken lisäksi. No. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. Yeah. 
This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. Oh, sit that dude must have must have pulled out that car at the end, Ella. Miss Grimshaw. Okay there. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. Uh huh. What do you want? Don't be like that. Just a. Just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Mr. Pearson, look what I've got. Fish. Mr. Matthews. Mr. Matthews, you should have been a sailor. No, thank you. I like to eat fish, not swim with them. You know, one time, just off the horn, a giant whale stalked us for months. Uh -huh. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee, only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories, though. <sighs> You're not a kind man. <laughs> I posted that letter for you. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Anytime. Keep your eyes peeled, Marston. Arthur. Lay you via side of the So, how's it going? Okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. You okay? Yeah. So tell me, who was that bad in Valentine? I got bad off. enough to need to move, that's for sure. So you glad to be back? One big happy family again. Right. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Ah, well. Very good. We were getting low. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Just that as hard work. Good evening. Ah, but that hard work I can't do to buy color. Hey there. Always good to see you. Se, että tää rupesi lihomaan tää Arturi, jos vaan söi näitä murginoita jatkuvasti. Ja mitä, vaan parin päivän päin ei saa ruokaa. 